Welcome back to Pong Mr's channel. In this video, we will provide a detailed explanation of how to configure our Pong LVN 5K48 all-in-one solar inverter and give you through the process of operating and configuring our Pong Mr inverter to best suit your power usage scenario and needs. We will provide step-by-step -step instructions and explanations for each setting item, ensure that you have a clear understanding of how to configure your pole mist inverter accurately. So let's get started and drive into the configuration process to optimize your pole mist inverter's performance for your specific needs. Now we will focus on the LCD screen and the four buttons to gradually demonstrate the parameter configuration process. These four buttons are set used to enter or exceed the setting interface. Up and down is to switch the setting item or setting options. Enter is to confirm a setting or enter the next level of options. First, let's press the set button to enter the setup programs. The first item is zero which is used to exist the setup programs. Now let's back to the setting programs. Setting 1 is used to establish the power source priority. The UTI option indicates AC input priority. If you have selected this option and have AC input connected to the utility, the utility power will have the highest priority in supplying power to the load. Only when utility power is available, it will switch to the inverter mode, which is powered by solar power and battery power. The SBU option represents inverter priority mode, where the priority sequence is solar battery and then the utility. In this mode, Grid power is only activated when the battery voltage is low or falls below the value set in setting 4. The SOL option represents solar priority mode, where utility power is enabled when solar power is unavailable or when the battery voltage is below the value set in setting 4. Setting 2 allows you to configure the AC output frequency, which is set the default value of 15 Hz. Setting 3 is used to set the voltage range of AC output. Since it is designed for the 120 volt model, the operating voltage range for both modes is set to 19 to 140 volt. Therefore, it's recommended to keep this setting at the default option. Setting 4 is the voltage value that which the output power switch from battery mode to bypass mode. In other words, it is the voltage value that which the priority switch from battery power to AC power, as mentioned in setting 1. When the battery voltage is below this value, the output will automatically switch to AC power. Setting 5 is the opposite of setting 4. It is the voltage value that which the bypass mode switch to battery mode. When the battery voltage reaches this value, the output will automatically switch to AC power to battery mode. Setting 6 is for the charging power source priority. If you select the SNU option, solar energy will be the first priority for charging the battery. When there is sufficient solar energy, it will exclusively charge the battery. If solar energy weakens, the AC power source will supplement the charging. If you choose the OSO option, solar energy will be the only charging power source for the battery. If you select the CSO option, solar energy will be the first charging power source and AC power source will only use when solar power is unavailable. 
If you choose CUB option, the AC power source will be the priority power source for charge the battery, and the solar energy will only be used when AC power source is unavailable. Setting 7 is for setting the maximum charging current. You should configure the charging current based on your battery's charging parameters. Each supplies the maximum current of 80 amperes. Setting 8 is for selecting the battery type. You can choose the appropriate type option based on the battery you have connected. The available battery type includes GEL battery, lithium iron phosphate battery, ternary lithium battery. USE option, cell deleted side battery, and flood leader side battery. In addition to these common battery types, you can also select USC and customize the battery related parameters in following settings 9 to 21. Setting 9 is the voltage threshold for triggering the transition from bulk charging stage to both charging stage. Setting 10 determines the duration of both charging stage. Setting 11 is voltage threshold for triggering the transition from both charging to flow charging stage. Setting 12 is the protection voltage from battery over discharge. And setting 13 determines the duration of over discharge stage. This option allows you to configure the automatic shutdown of the output when battery voltage is below the predetermined over discharge value for a certain duration. Setting 14 is for setting the battery low voltage alarm value when the battery voltage drops below this value. The inverter will emit an alarm. Setting 50 is discharge limit voltage. Unlike the protection voltage when the inverter reaches this value, it will immediately shut down the output without any delay. Setting 60 is used to enable the equalization charging function. When select as ENA, you can configure the rated parameter for equalization charging in option 17 to 21. This parameter includes equalization charging voltage, equalization charging duration, equalization charging delay, equalization charging interval period, and immediately enablement of equalization charging. After setting the main battery parameter, setting 22 is used to enable the power saving mode. In power saving mode, the inverter will automatically shut down the output after a period of time if there is no load or very low output. Setting 23 is the switch for the automatic restart function after overload. When enabled, the inverter will automatically restart 3 minutes after an overload shutdown. If the inverter fails to operate normally after 5 restart attempts, it will no longer automatically restart. Setting 24 is for enabling the automatic restart function after overheat. If enabled, the inverter will automatically restart after cooling down from an overheat shutdown. Setting 25 is the buzzer switch. You can use this setting to turn the buzzer on or off. If you choose to turn off the buzzer, the corresponding icon will be displayed. Setting 26 is for the buzzer sound prompt when switching output modes. If enabled, the inverter will emit a buzzer alarm when there is a change in the output power source. Setting 27 is used to automatically switch the inverter's output power source to bypass modes in case of overload. 
setting 28 is for setting the maximum charging current. The maximum charging current for this inverter is 40 amperes. You can configure it the most suitable charging current based on your battery charging parameters. Setting 29 is a reserved setting that may be added in the future based on actual application requirements. Setting 13 is for setting the RS-45 communication address. It is mainly used when multiple inverters are connected to a host computer simultaneously. By setting the inverter communication address to any number from 1 to 254, you can differentiate between different inverters from accurate monitoring of data. Setting 35 is the voltage value that which the battery recovered from under voltage to normal state. Setting 37 is the battery voltage value at which battery transition from the fully charged state to a state requiring recharging. Setting 38 allows adjustment of the nominal AC output voltage setting. These are all the settings for the Pole LVN 5K or in one solar inverter. After completing the setting, press set to return to the main page. Congratulations, you can now enjoy the convenience brought by the Pole Mister inverter to your solar system. If you have any question about the setting or Pole Mister products, please leave a comment below. Feel free to join the discussion and share your experience and insights on the solar system configurations. You can visit Pomist's official website for more information about the brand and the latest products updates. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.